Oh, hey guys, wow, welcome back. I know we've been a little bit AFK for a little bit of a hiatus. A little bit of a hiatus. Don't you worry. That is okay. I know not many people are watching, but you know, it's alright, you know. We're doing doing our thing. It's a little So what did we see? Anyways, we saw um Papillon. Wow, what a great summer blockbuster you all have to go see. Anyways, Papillon is starring uh, Charlie Hunnam, who I really don't like at all. And then Rami Malek, who's in a few things. Like the, he's in that, uh, was it Mr. Robot? Mr. TV show Robot. That people like. And then, uh, he's, he's in, in a lot. The I don't know what. I don't know, I can't really think of it. Bohemian Rhapsody coming up, which I'm looking very much like forward to. Yeah. Buster's Mal Heart. I don't know what that is. What you Good movie. I told you to watch. Anyways, is that he's in that? Yes. Okay, and then uh, but yeah, it's a re Papillon's a remake of a nineteen seventy three movie with Dustin Hoffman and Steve McQueen that a lot of people know and love. I haven't seen it. He has. I feel a bit of a goof. I it's. Seen it. I think it's on IMDb's top two fifty list. I think. I'm pretty not. sure I, it is. I just looked like yesterday. It's not. It was at one time, and that's a fact. I'm almost... It has like a 7.9, though. No, it That's doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Look. I'm going to look right now. He's going to look right now. You yeah. give your uh, thoughts, I really, first of all. I, to be honest, I didn't care for it. I thought it was obnoxiously slow um, at some points. Like, even... God, the... At first, I'm going to be honest, I was incredibly confused. I, the, the name Papillon is very French, and all their names are French, but at first, they all had British accents. It has accents. an 8. It has an 8. Correct. Whatever. It's not, Anyways, see, there's only continue. movies above that that are on the top 250. But the movie, like, in the beginning, I know it sounds dumb, but I hadn't seen the original, I didn't know anything about the original, but I literally thought they were Americans and, like, British people living in Paris at first. Because like, the guy that he's talking to, like, his boss, this is before he goes to prison, has, like, a like a total, uh, like, thick New York accent, and I thought he was, like, a mobster or something that he worked for. Do you remember? Yeah. The guy. It like, just wasn't I didn't, confusing. At first, I was like, "What the fuck?" And I thought they were all like British and uh, Americans. And then I was, and then I only saw like a few, and then like randomly a few actors with French accents. So basically, what I'm saying, if you don't know anything about Papillon, you be don't be confused by that. I mean, I was maybe I'm like stupid. It like, wasn't that confusing. It was at first. It tells and you it's I in France. Out, They're speaking I mean, I know it's English in France. I know it's in France. Because they're releasing okay. it for an English audience. Okay, so well, just first of all, take it for what it is. I, I wasn't really thinking about the fact that they were releasing it for an English for an English speaking audience, but I mean, we saw it in America, and it stars a British actor and an American actor. And if you watch the trailer, you can tell that. Point is, this movie's not worth much of a discussion because it's not very good. I disagree. I, I'm not saying it's a, the best movie of all time, but I saw the original, um, something that my co-host hasn't done. I saw the original, and obviously the original is a much better movie. I think I knew that going in that it was going to be better. I didn't go in with the highest of expectations because it's a remake of a classic, but I thought, I thought it was good. Yeah, was it slow in parts? Yeah, but the original, it wasn't very, there was never once when I was bored. The original was slow, so if you would have seen that, you would have known what you were getting yourself into. Um, and and honestly, I don't know the hate from Charlie Hunnam. There was nothing Charlie wrong with him Hunnam in this movie. Charlie Hunnam is just a ditz. I just don't like his, like, his voice. He does, like, this weird sort of, I can't. There's see. nothing wrong with his, like there's nothing voice. wrong with anyone's performances honestly in no, the movie. See, the thing is that Rami Malek and um, Charlie Hunnam their char they have no chemistry with each other. There's no like you're supposed to get the sense that they're good friends and they have a really strange relationship. That's supposed to be true. But the, the you don't get the vibe at all that they're friends. I don't feel like you I do disagree. At all. I think it's just strange like they're just just the reading off the damn script. It doesn't feel I anything. Just, there was the performances were Good. I, I didn't see anything wrong with any of the performances. Going to what you're talking about, there are two, there are two guys in prison, first of all, one of which is a thief, and the other is like a millionaire who writes like fake bonds or whatever, who's who's already kind of stuck up going into jail. He's like, oh, I'll be out by Christmas. Yeah, he's but like, you, don't, you don't see that. They just tell you. They, they, they don't tell you. All you say, oh, he's rich, and he's... he's uh, 
he's weak. That's all they. Th that's all they. They constantly mention how weak he is. He doesn't really seem because he's a tiny, scrawny guy in this prison of huge, fat guys that are going around cutting people open to get the money. They, this is another one of those movies where they tell you what the characters are and don't show you. I don't feel like there's enough examples of how a character actually is. Like when they tell you, oh, this character is uh, weak. Oh, this character is super rich. I understand. because people needed to tell Charlie Hunnam's character. And then that's how Charlie Hunnam gets the idea in his head to befriend him, to help him get the money so they can escape. He didn't want to escape with him originally. Yeah, he, Charlie Hunnam didn't want to let... Okay, that wasn't much. That wasn't really a spoiler. Don't worry about it. But... If, I mean, if people are watching this movie, I'm sure they've seen the original. But no or... one's going to see this movie. No one. No one I think people it. are gonna see it. That's why they made it. No one. That's why. I mean, yeah, they made it. They expect some people. To I, see I, it. you, I think you hold movies. You you see the IMDb score of a movie. No. And you go into no. the movie thinking, oh my god, oh this movie has it has a six point six right it's now. Natural. And so you see that it has below... A 6.6, a, I have like a very neutral has, stance. You see that... Oh, so you're saying that... No, 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 oh, wait, yeah, wait, wait, see, wait, wait, no, 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 My no. point exactly. I'm saying like, yes, I have, when I, I'll be honest, like anyone does, if you see low reviews for a movie, you're automatically going to just go in with lower expectations. Not, not, not necessarily saying you have a preset um, state of mind of how good you'll think a movie. When you go into a movie with low expectations... You could say yes that you're coming into the pre mindset of it being bad, but a low expectations means you can also be open to okay. how a movie turns but out. But from the very beginning, you weren't giving it a chance. From the very beginning, That's it was ten boring. minutes in, but it was, it was not. Boring. There was nothing boring about it. The movie starts with him stealing and then beating up a guy in this club. There's nothing boring. You thought Lincoln was entertaining. Okay? Lincoln is entertaining. It is not movie. entertaining. First of all, I'm not saying it's a bad movie. Anyways. You didn't give the movie a chance from the beginning. You're looking over at me and waving at me and going, or you're yawning. Thankfully, there was only one other person in the theater it with us, boring. but it was not boring at yeah, all. Boring. I agree. It's not the best movie of all time. It's not in the top ten movies that I've seen this year. And it's not... It's nothing that's going to blow you out of the water, but th it's not... Wow, that should convince you to go watch it. It's not a bad movie. I thought it was entertaining. I thought it was intense. I enjoyed seeing how they were going to get out of this situation. I'd seen the original. I knew what was going to happen, but I was still interested. There was nothing wrong with the performances. Actually, I thought Charlie Hunnam was pretty good. Um, I, I liked the warden's character. The warden was just a total... Just, obviously, that's, I mean, he's a warden, but he was, like, you you didn't like the guy. He was, he was pretty cruel. The most interesting character was their French, uh, it was, this guy was another, uh, he had a similar background to Charlie Hunnam's character, and he was, like, the most interesting character, honestly. Like, even though he's barely in it, he was the most interesting He wasn't character. barely in it. And this shows you how invested Riley was in this movie. In the in during the middle, he turns to me after one scene and he goes, "Why is this guy speaking French?" First of all, he was speaking he was Spanish. Saying, Some of, no, he was not. Yes, speaking. he was speaking Spanish. You idiot! No, fuck you! I was not speaking. He, okay. Here's the weird thing: you had so many other characters in the movie that had like French accents. That they're all supposed to be French, and so you had a bunch had French accents, British accents, and then like American. Here's accents. the crazy thing. It was strange. Here's the crazy for, thing. Very strange. It made they're me think going... of Valkyrie, and that like threw me off. Here's the crazy thing. I don't know if you picked this up because obviously you weren't watching the movie very closely, but they're going to this prison, this huge prison that is a melting pot of a bunch of different ethnicities and a bunch of different people from a bunch of different backgrounds. If you go into... But it's French Guiana. Most of them okay. are Frenchmen that are prisoners. Yes, there could be others of different nationalities. Then why... why? Oh, some of them have a different accent. If I watch a movie... Who is the movie's boring? It's not good. Don't watch it. It's not interesting. Hey, guys. I'm Riley. If I watch hey, guys. A... I'm Drake. And I love fucking weird-ass dramas Hi. out of nowhere. If I watch a movie that has 
people with more than one accent in it. It throws me for a loop. I the movie's can't stand boring. It. Don't watch it. Four and a half out of ten. It's not. Not boring. worth your time. It's, it's not boring. It's I think really it's worth. Boring. I think it's worth a watch if you want an interesting prison break movie. It's not interesting at all. Not. He... You're you're so dense. I you you have nothing to back up. Oh, the accents, they were weird. Charlie Hunnam, I don't like the guy. The Therefore, movie was I'm not going to like There the was movie. no intensity. I felt No nothing. intensity? No, I didn't feel any intensity. Oh, I think that goes... That There's no chemistry between the two main characters. Because the two main they characters are so different. In the beginning, they're they not work. supposed to be friends right away. You're right. Away. I know they're not supposed to be the same type of person at all. But there's, it just doesn't work. Okay, it does work. Four and Why half do you out of think ten? that there was an original movie made where the characters I'm sure are the pretty original similar? Movie is great. Then why don't you watch it? You hadn't seen this, and you still wanted to see it, and you watched it, so why didn't you watch the original You're before right. we I saw it? I should watched the original one first, but what would you give it a 10? I give it a 7. I give it a 7. Like I said, not a, not a perfect movie. But not a boring, not a slow movie. An interesting movie that I think if you, um, um, what am I looking for? If you don't get thrown off by maybe some different accents here or there. Or, um, if you think that, um, if you think that movies like this are boring. I don't know how this movie was boring. It was, it was mostly, it was a lot of action throughout the whole movie. I don't know what... I'm just confused by your thought process here. Anyways, I would give it a 7. Four. And, and I think that... I think that it's one... I Maybe I wouldn't pay to see it in a the theater. But I'd watch it when it comes out onto Blu-ray, onto Netflix, wherever it's going to come out. Thanks for Anyways, watching well, the video. Thanks for watching. Well, um, have a good, good day click out like, there. Click like, click subscribe. Like, subscribe. All of them, press them, just do it, just give them a little look, do it. Okay, bye. Um, okay, bye!